Welcome back to Gaming Mysteries, where I've had Kirby on my mind a lot as of late. What with that new game being allegedly released, though mostly it's from me accidentally falling in love with Epic Yarn, which is the title I slept on, and it's quite charming. Though it kind of led to a Kirby rabbit hole of sorts, and I ended up recording a lot of footage, and so I thought, what better time than now to talk about some cancelled Kirby games? No other time than now. And so today on Gaming Mysteries, we'll be talking about Kid Kirby for the Super Nintendo, Kirby Bowl 64 for the N64, and Kirby Tilt and Tumble 2 for the GameCube. We'll start things off with the most confusing game of the bunch, and that is of course Kid Kirby from DMA Design. Now as the name would suggest, Kid Kirby would feature a younger Kirby, and was intended to be a prequel to the whole series. And Based on one of the only images surrounding the topic, even at a young age, Kirby had things all figured out. He's pink, he has shoes, a single strand of hair on his head, and he loves the food. And so him and his... Kirby Kid pals like DDD and you two, maybe this guy, set off on your journey. Though it would be a Kirby journey like no other, as the game was being developed with the SNES mouse in mind. Using the mouse, you would do something in these levels that was never really elaborated on that much, but the game was to allegedly play like Boogaboo the Flea. Granted, instead of playing a character escaping being eaten, you would eat your way to the top of your very own video game franchise. Now while we don't know how the game was going to exactly play out in the grand scheme of things, a number of early level designs are available to look at online, and the levels look confusing and scary and blocky, with a variety of blocky locations like this castle-esque location, and this stage that hurts my eyes, and this factory, and whatever the hell this place was supposed to be. Kirby had a very weird childhood, I'm guessing. Though unfortunately, young Kirby's rise to fame story was cut short because the Super Nintendo mouse didn't sell well. And since that was kind of the intended way to play the game, that led to a bit of an issue with controls. Of course, to salvage the project, they did try to convert it over to using normal controls with the normal controller, but the game apparently didn't control well at all. There was also some apparent programming issues behind the scenes with the game as well, but the main killer to this project was the SNES mouse. And just like that, a Nintendo accessory kills off yet another Nintendo game. It'll never end. So to lighten the mood a bit, we'll talk about a Kirby game that was only kind of cancelled, and that's Kirby Bowl 64. What's that, you ask? Well, that's this thing. It was one of the earliest games shown off for the N64, and was conceived as a Kirby rolling slash Kirby snowboarding through the air over a checkerboard pattern thing kind of game. An actual quote from someone regarding the game is that, We'll make it memorable for gamers is the fast scrolling and free floating views that tie your stomach in knots as you surf against the opposition. We also learned from the overly descriptive magazine snippet that besides a one player mode, two, comma, three, and even four players can compete simultaneously against each other, yay! From here, news on the game was sparse though, but it did appear a year later with a new name. Kirby's Air Ride. Not to be confused with Kirby Air Ride, seeing a dramatic shift from what was initially shown. The game honed in on more of a snow airboarding style of gameplay, going so far as to forget some of the old modes that involved spherical Kirbys rolling around and doing ball Kirby things, and adding more developed areas, a health meter, and a different four player mode. Also, Kirby had this sick hat. And while the game certainly seemed interesting, being a Kirby snowboarding tricks hybrid kind of weird thing that they were doing, development of the title was apparently pretty long and tedious, and the status of the project kept shifting quite a bit until eventually it was quietly cancelled behind the scenes. Although, as many of you know, the game would resurface on the Nintendo GameCube as Kirby Air Ride a few years later, albeit missing some characters and enemies from the N64 version, and of course with altered gameplay. As for what became of the N64 version of Air Ride, it's rumored that some of the concepts from that game were used in 1080 snowboarding. Someone rumored it. And to end things off, we return to the subject of Kirby in a ball form with the cancelled Kirby Tilt and Tumble 2 for the GameCube, a sequel to the Game Boy Color game which utilized a tilt sensor that would allow the player to control Kirby, a concept that would be revisited with the GameCube title. And so, Miyamoto the Great displayed the game in action to all of his loyal peoples. 
Now since the GameCube controller isn't capable of magic motion sensing, the game would be controlled by using your Game Boy Advance as a controller, tilting that to move Kirby around to collect stars, rolling, creating an ungodly amount of yourself, and wondering what the odds are of someone else owning both this game and a Game Boy Advance so you can actually play it with someone else. And hey, surprise surprise, not everybody owns everything, you're not going to find a lot of other people who also have the stuff to play the thing, and that GBA GameCube thing didn't actually take off. And development of the project was brought to a halt. Not really knowing what to do from there, I assume, is the reason why at one point Nintendo decided to remove Kirby from the game entirely and renamed it Rollorama, continuing its development. However, coverage for the game started to slow down because who cares about Rollorama, and the game was quietly cancelled. And, again, a Nintendo accessory killed a Nintendo game. I'd like to note that it's the second time in one video that it's happened. So we're starting off March on a really positive note, you guys. But that was the Gaming Mysteries on Kid Kirby, Kirby Bowl 64, and Kirby Tilt and Tumble 2. I'd say out of all three of these titles, the only one I'm genuinely disappointed that we lost is the original version of Kirby's Air Ride with his sweet hat and snowboarding skills. Because honestly, that just seems like a huge missed opportunity on Nintendo's part, what with them pimping Sean White in the later years. As for the other two titles, I'm sorry you guys got hurt by the mean accessories, hugs. This has been Gaming Mysteries. Thank you for watching. Hey guys, Zuri of Wind here, because of course it is, because I just I made the video a couple of seconds ago. Hey, welcome back to Enslay. I'm Yuri of Wind, and I'm here. It's nice to meet you. Uh, you just watched a Gaming Mysteries on some cancelled Kirby games, because fun times in March. Hope you guys are excited. Turn the clocks forward. It's going to be exciting stuff. Is it actually forward? I'm going to check real quick, just because I have the time. Oop, I'm doing terrible. Yep, it's forward. Uh, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, that was a calendar on the thing. Um, Anyways, enough of my shenanigans, if you will. Let's go ahead and do Enslate things, okay? Let's get down to business. Uh, the, the first thing I'll recommend is the last video I did on this channel, which uh, was a bullshit creepypasta story time on Sally.exe, which uh, a lot of people have wanted me to do for a really long time, and I didn't want to do it because uh, it's a bad story. But uh, people seem to enjoy the video. Uh, I don't, I don't, I'm not sure it was sent to everyone's sub box. I question YouTube at times, but uh, people seem to enjoy it, so I was glad about that. Um, I had to play Sonic 06 to record footage, though. I wasn't glad about that, but uh, good to have that out of my way so I can move on with life and other stupid stories and other stuff. And then the other two videos you can click on, I don't know, they're videos. So you can click on them if you want or if you don't want to. And then uh, there's social media stuff. If you want to follow me on Twitter, uh, or the other thing, you're free to do so, I update more on Twitter, and of course, if you want to follow Nico, who does the art, except for this video where I had to change the thumbnail because I was talking about multiple topics, um, but yeah, Nico does the art, and, uh, of course, if you want to subscribe or like or share or any of the stuff that people always beg you to do, that helps, but I don't like, I feel like a whore, then you're welcome, but I'm not gonna force you. Now, I'm gonna... I'm gonna go nap, because it's, I don't know, I've been tired lately. I can't wait for it to spring forward. I hate the winter's bothering me. I gotta go, you guys, though. Bye.